Jones. Up y'all was cracking, was popping, and Steve Boss reacts to this vid by Love Don't Judge. It's titled "My Girlfriend Is Trans, But I'm Not Gay." All right, I reacted to a video recently where the guy said, um, "I'm feminine, but I'm not gay." And he was wearing crop tops and wearing makeup and lipstick and stuff. So, <laughs> you know, um, hmm, when these people say, "But I'm not gay," I gotta, I gotta now take it with a grain of salt until I get more evidence. Uh, but yeah, let's hear what's going on. Let's watch. This is Jesse. He fell in love with Cassidy. I love how trans woman. Jesse was raised in a strict conservative family. One thing I was definitely taught was a natural woman is who you're supposed to be with. And if you're with anybody else, you're going to be out of this household and out of this family. And their relationship has caused a stir with loved ones. The main misconception that people have is that he's gay. I was very apprehensive. Right. I didn't know that he was open to having a relationship with a trans girl. I'm Jesse, and this is my partner Cassidy, who's a trans woman. Jesse and I met off of Instagram. The first thing I saw was muscles, and so I was like, okay. I actually messaged her, and I let her know that uh, she's beautiful. We were about three or four messages in, and she said, hey, I just want to let you know that, you know, I'm sorry if it changes the dynamic of things, but I'm a trans woman. And I said, no, 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 sweetheart. You don't have to apologize for that. You're just a special kind of woman. It was a beautiful moment, and we kicked it off ever since. We faced a lot of judgment when we started our relationship. I think the main misconception that people have with our relationship is that yeah, I, got the, I got the same cup that I drink up out of damn near every day. Uh, it's, this is a Nutribullet cup, if I'm not mistaken, and I blend my uh, protein shakes and I put it in this cup. Anyway, hey. I imagine that's what he's doing. I've that's received protein. the whole load of hate comments, being like, you'll never be a woman. How, how dare you? A lot of religious comments too about how I should kill myself. You're going to hell. So this one says, "Religious people, sir. Lipstick and heels doesn't make you a woman. You can't change biology." Why do you care that much? People be snitching on themselves. Are you attracted to her? And you're, <laughs> it frustrates you that Jeez. someone else is with her and they're loud and proud about it? Because I don't understand why you would care so much that you need to leave a comment, a hateful comment at that with this much detail and do all of this. Oh, this so doesn't this make any sense. Because if you don't fuck with it, you just wouldn't fuck with it. And you would just keep scrolling. But feeling the need to actually speak on it and be hateful, I feel like speaks volumes. Like it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Except his body Unless, so you did plastic surgery. So I'm going on with you. In your fantasy. It definitely gets to me sometimes, but I can't let it affect my day because I'm used to it. At the beginning of it, I couldn't help but think it was my fault for all the backlash that Jesse was receiving. But we persevered through everything mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it was something that really made us stronger. My upbringing was probably a little more intense than the most. I was brought up around a very masculine family, very toxic masculinity household. I was always taught to act out, be the tough guy. Mm. Natural woman is who you're supposed to be with, and that's it. And if you're with anybody else, if you're gay, if you're ever with a trans girl, you're going to be out of this household and out of this family. My friends and family, at first, they were shocked because the alpha masculine tatted up male is now dating a transgender woman. My family was worried about their reputation. Not mine. Yeah. The whole entire world's gonna know my son's gay. Wow. He's dating a trans girl. So we're gonna FaceTime Jordan right now. This is a best friend of mine who's been through with me through all points of my life. So we're gonna call and see what he has to say because he was reluctant on our relationship in the beginning. Jordan, what's up? What's up, brother? How are you doing? So I wanted to ask you a couple of questions about my relationship because I know it's it's been a lot. How did you first feel about hearing that I was dating a woman like Cassidy that's trans? Well, 
so I was, you know, definitely a little uh, shocked and apprehensive. Apprehensive about what? It got blown up back here at home, and, uh, you know, knowing you my whole life, I didn't know that, you know, I didn't see that. One of, one of the first things that probably came out was probably he's gay. People definitely have that, that perspective on it. I, I was just very much confused. I was confused, too. Cassidy educated me and said, no, 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 honey, you're straight. I'm, don't you look at me like a woman? I said, yeah. She's like, so where do you find the word gay? And that's when I realized, yeah, I'm not gay at all. I'm the only thing, <laughs> I'll be honest here, okay? I, I'm very ignorant when it comes to this because I don't know any trans people at all. I have no idea how these relationships work. But that's why I was like, I'm. A, he's saying he's not gay, but I'm like, mm, I don't know, I need more information. Because... I don't, I don't know the logistics of this. And it's like, I don't know if there was a surgery that took place. And if she has a vagina now or if she doesn't, then it's like, well, then, <laughs> you know, things get complicated, you know? So I'm just like, because what if, what if she doing the bending, you know? So it's like, and then he's still talking about, but I'm not gay. Then it's like, mm, mm. <laughs> call yourself whatever you like. You know, that is your business. It's your life. I'm not going to put no label on you. I don't know you. I don't give a fuck what you got going on. But, you know, in my head, I'm thinking, mm. <laughs> you know, if she's doing the bending and if, uh, you know, but again, I don't know the logistics of, of their sexual situation. I doubt they'll talk about it. Maybe they will. Let's see. <laughs> I'm an male that's attracted to femininity and that's exactly what I got right here. What was your first impression of hearing that Jesse was dating a trans girl? Uh, So it was definitely, it was shocking to me at first. It was new for all of us, but when I saw how happy Jesse was, then it all, all my transgression went out the window. Yeah. And I realized it doesn't matter to me. It, it, exactly. It's what makes Jesse my happy. Business. I really appreciate you, Jordan, Twitter. for seeing me as I am and not what other people say about me and what other people project onto me. Like I said, Jesse's happiness is what matters to me. Awesome, Jordan. You're the best. Hey, brother. I appreciate you. You know, I love you since day one. And uh, ain't nothing ever going to change over here. Yeah, I love you too. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. It's been amazing seeing my best friends eventually come around and my mother and some of my uncles and aunts. It's, it's truly amazing. And I've amazing. never had that, you know, somebody's family give me that type of love and appreciation before. I love that they came around. I why do y'all care? Let, let this I started be happy. transitioning when I was oh, they're about to give us a tea. 14 and at that time it was not spoken about and I had to do it in the safety and the privacy of my, my room, room, my bedroom better. and that was the only time when I got to be myself. I have found it Definitely hard to date. Wait, I don't think she I does have, have a... Yeah, it seems like she went through with the surgery. I mean, obviously. Unless... Anyway, I'm going to assume that she went through with the surgery. Found it definitely hard the to date surgery. as a trans woman. Guys, most of the time, I don't think is ready to put that out there in the world where it's something that they see or their family sees as taboo or something that's non-traditional and it's been really hard to go through that. My family reacted to the relationship, I think, more cautious than anything from what I've dealt with in the past. Relationships with abuse and trauma they were scared. They were nervous. They saw his pictures. They were like, oh, God, a tatted up, you know, biker. And they were like, Cassidy, what are you doing? And I was like, no, like, you have to meet him. Like, you have to, you know, see him and feel his energy. Cassidy's changed my life for the better because she is slowly helping remove the hate that's been instilled in me since a kid. Just knowing that I have somebody that fully supports me. No matter what I do, he's always there for me. Our message is, don't be scared to embrace who you love. Because if I was still scared to let it out to this world, 
I would be hiding everything that is so beautiful about us, but instead I let it out there. Throughout our hardships and throughout us being judged so much in our relationships, we want to show that it's still possible to live a happy relationship and not even care about what people think. Period. It's y'all life, y'all relationship. Listen, I love love, okay? And they seem like they're very in love, they're happy, and both of their families are on board. So that's all that matters. Who cares what anybody else is talking about? But I just don't understand the hateful energy. It's one thing to be curious about things because a lot of people are ignorant to these type of relationships and they don't really understand the logistics of it and how things work. And it's like, hmm... <laughs> What's really going on? But to try to throw labels on someone or to be hateful and make a, such disgusting comments like the one that was shown, it's like, all right, you got some internal shit going on. You might need to, need to resolve that on somebody's couch in therapy <laughs> because do you have some unresolved like homosexual feelings or what? That you frustrated you can't get out? Because I don't understand where the hate and anger is coming from. Being curious is one thing and not understanding stuff and being ignorant is one thing, but to be hateful and, and be rude that's something else. That's coming from a different place. A homosexual place. <laughs> that's just my opinion on that. Uh, but yeah, it does look like she had the, the bottom surgery. So, hey. Hey. <laughs> it, it works for them. So, yeah, I don't think any bending is taking place. Um, I don't think he's getting bended. Um, anyway, good, good, good for them. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see you on the next time. Bye.